Scratch programming. Introduction to Scratch. Scratch is a simple, fun based visual programming language designed by the lifelong kindergarten learning group at MIT to introduce some basic programming concepts in an interactive manner. Scratch is not like other programming languages that requires you to learn text commands and strict rules about how you can use them. This language is fairly easy for anyone to learn with fun. All commands are on screen, so you can just drag and drop them. It enables you to quickly see results of your work and even include graphics and sounds. Sprites Scratch projects are made up of objects called sprites. You can change how a sprite looks by giving it a different costume. You can make a sprite look like a person or a train or a butterfly or anything else. You can use any image as a sprite. You can draw an image in the paint editor, import an image from your hard disk, drag in an image from a library or capture an image from the connected web camera. Scripts You can give instructions to a sprite telling it to move or play music or react to other sprites. To tell a sprite what to do, you snap together the blocks into stacks called scripts or program. Scripts are created by snapping blocks together. Each block represents a different command or action that tells the application how to execute. When you execute or run a script, Scratch runs the blocks from the top of the script to the bottom. Working with blocks Motion blocks These blocks control sprite placement, direction, rotation and movement. Click the motion button to show the motion blocks in the blocks palette. When you first start Scratch, motion button is selected by default. In the blocks palette, click the move 10 steps block. The cat on the stage moves in the direction of its face. Each time you click the block, the cat moves once. Click on the number 10 and change it to 50. The number determines how far across the screen you want the cat to move. Click the block and the cat moves 5 times as far. Click on the turn clockwise 15 degrees block. The cat will rotate 15 degrees clockwise. To change the angle of the turn, change the number of degrees and then click the block to make the cat turn. Now, click on move 50 steps block. The cat walks in its new direction. If the cat gets to the edge of the stage, drag it back again with mouse pointer. Pen blocks. These blocks can be used to draw shapes using different colors and pen sizes. Click the pen button to show the pen blocks. Click on pen down block. Now, if you click the motion button and click the blocks to move the cat around, it will leave a line behind it wherever it goes. Click the motion button to show the motion blocks. In the blocks palette, click the move 50 steps block. The cat on the stage moves in the direction of its face and leaves a line behind it. Now, click the pen button to show the pen blocks. Click the pen up block, it will turn off the pen effect. Now if you click the motion button and click the blocks to move the cat around, it will not leave a line behind it wherever it goes. Looks blocks. These blocks change the sprite and background appearance. Click the looks button to show the looks blocks. Click on next costume block. It will make the cat's legs move, which will appear like it is running on the spot. Costumes are just different pictures a sprite can have. And the cat has two costumes that show its legs in different positions. Generating a new sprite In Scratch, 
Cat is the default sprite, but you can create a new sprite or import more sprites from the library in your project. Scratch provides four different options for adding sprites to your applications. These options are accessed through the new sprite buttons located just below the stage. Let us generate a new sprite from these options. Choose Sprite from Library. Scratch provides access to different collections of graphic files that you can add to your Scratch applications as sprites. Click on Choose Sprite from Library button. Sprite Library window appears. Select the category for the sprite. By default, all is selected. Click on the sprite you want to add. Click on OK. Your new sprite is added to the sprites list as well as displayed on the stage. You can click on info button on the sprite in sprites list area and give sprite a new name. Drag the sprite to the place where you want it on the stage. Paint or create new sprite. By using paint new sprite button, you can create a new sprite for your project. Click on Paint New Sprite button. The Costumes tab appears that can be used to create new sprites with the help of drawing tools from the toolbar and color palette. Click on the drawing tools from the toolbar. Draw the sprite on the canvas. You can use different colors and apply a range of special effects. The new sprite will be added on the stage with a name Sprite 2. The new sprite will also appear in Sprite's list area. You can click on info button on the sprite in Sprite's list area and give Sprite a new name. Click on Scripts tab to return to the script view. Drag the sprite to the place where you want it on the stage. Upload Sprite from File. You can upload any image or sprite from the file store on your computer. Click on Upload Sprite from File button. Select File to Upload dialog box will appear. Navigate the file you want to upload as a sprite and click on it. Click on Open. The new sprite will be added on the stage as well as in Sprite's list area. You can use the tools from the toolbar to grow or shrink the size of new sprite. Drag the new sprite to the place where you want it on the stage. Upload sprite from camera. You can upload your own image or sprite from the camera or webcam attached to your computer. Click on new sprite from camera button. Camera dialog box will appear showing your picture or the object which is in front of camera. Click on save button to capture the picture. The new sprite will be added on the stage as well as in sprites list area. Deleting sprite. You can delete the sprite from the stage if you do not want it in your project. Right click the sprite you want to delete. A menu will appear. Click on delete. Or you can also click on delete button from the toolbar and then click on the sprite you want to delete. The sprite will be removed from the stage. Changing the costume of sprite. A sprite is a small character that performs actions on the stage. You can change how a sprite looks by giving it a different costume. It can have one or more costumes allowing it to change its appearance as the application executes. The sprite must have at least one costume. For example, cat default sprite has two costumes. Each costume is assigned a unique name and number. In this example, we have selected butterfly as a sprite. It also has two costumes. Click on costumes tab. You will see Butterfly 1A and Butterfly 1B costumes under the Butterfly Sprites costume list. 
Click on Butterfly 1B Costume. The new Sprite Costume will be added on the stage as well as in Sprite's list area. Sprite Stage The stage provides the canvas upon which sprites are displayed and interact with one another. The stage is 480 units wide and 360 units high. As you can see, the x-axis runs from coordinates 240 to minus 240 and the y-axis runs from coordinates 180 to minus 180. The middle of the stage has a coordinate location of 00. Scratch keeps you informed of the pointer location whenever it is moved over the stage by displaying its XY coordinate position in the mouse X and mouse Y fields just beneath the bottom right side of the stage. Changing the backdrop of stage. By default, the background of stage is white. You can change the background of the stage to make it more interesting and lively. The new backdrop icons are used to change the background of the stage. By using these four icons, you can choose backdrop from the library, paint a new backdrop, upload a backdrop from the file stored in your computer, or click a backdrop image using the camera. Choose a backdrop from library. Click the white icon stage on the left of sprites list. Click the backdrops tab. Click on choose backdrop from library button to upload a picture from the library. You can also click on choose backdrop from library button from here. The backdrop library window appears. Select the theme or category for the backdrop. Click on the backdrop you want to add. Click on OK. New backdrop is added to the stage behind the cat sprite. Make the cat walk and say few. Start. Creating a program. When you click blocks in the blocks palette, the sprite moves immediately. It will only test what blocks do, but it is not a program. A program is a set of repeatable instructions that you can store up to carry out later. The scripts area is a place where you make your programs in scratch by dragging the blocks from blocks palette and dropping them on top of each other. Click the white icon stage on the left of sprites list. Click the backdrops tab. Click on choose backdrop from library button to upload a picture from the library. From the backdrop library window, click on the blue sky backdrop. Click on OK to add backdrop. Drag the sprite cat to the place where you want it for the project. Click the cat in the sprites list. Click the scripts tab. Click the motion button. For making a program, you have to drag the blocks into the scripts area from the blocks palette. Select move 10 steps block and drag the block from the blocks palette into the scripts area using the mouse. This first block will move the cat 10 steps in the direction of its face. Click the looks button. Select next costume block, drag it into the scripts area and place it underneath the move 10 steps block. The blocks will snap together. These joined up blocks are called script or program. The next costume block will make the cat's legs move, which will appear like it is walking on spot. Click on the control button. Drag the wait one seconds block into the scripts area and snap it under the other two blocks. This block adds a one second delay. Without it, our cat will change the costume very fast. Slowing the cat down enables us to see the legs moving. Right click the move 10 steps block. A menu appears. Click on duplicate. This copies the first block and any blocks underneath it. In this example, it copies the move 
Next, Costi and the weight blocks. Move the copy to the bottom of your program and click to place the blocks there. You can repeat the steps 15 to 17 several times to make the cat walk further. Now, let's make the cat say something at the end. Select Looks button. Drag the Say Hello for 2 seconds block into the scripts area and slap it under the other blocks. Click on Hello and change it to Fill. Running the program. Click any of the joined up blocks in scripts area. Scratch carries out all the joined up instructions in order starting from the top and working its way down the blocks. Keep clicking on the joined up blocks in scripts area. On every click, Scratch carries out all the joined up instructions in order starting from the top and working its way down the blocks. Finish. Working with two sprites. In Scratch, you can work with more than one sprite on the stage. Adding a sprite. Add one more sprite on the stage by clicking on Choose New Sprite from Library button. Your new sprite dog 1 will be added in the sprites list as well as displayed on the stage. You can rotate the sprite by using sprite info pane. Drag the new sprite to the place where you want it on the stage. You can also import the costume of the added sprite. Creating script for the sprite. In the sprites list, click on the sprite icon sprite 1 for which you want to create a script. Create a script program in the scripts area for selected sprite. In the above script, first we insert flag block from events block menu on the stage. Then we add point and direction block from motion blocks and set the option to 90 which is right direction. Then we add move steps block from motion blocks and set 10 in it. In the sprites list, click on the sprite icon dog 1 for which you want to create a script. Create a script program in the scripts area for selected sprite. In the above script, first we insert flag block from events block menu on the stage. Then we add point in direction block from motion blocks and set the option to minus 19 which is left direction. Then we add move steps block from motion blocks and set 10 in it. Click on green flag button above the stage. Green flag is used to start your main program. You will observe that both the sprites move 10 steps towards each other. You can keep clicking on green flag. On every click, Scratch executes all the joined up blocks for both sprites. And you will observe both the sprites coming closer to each other. Forever Block The Forever Block is a control block which runs the script continuously until the stop button is pressed. When you click Forever Block, the blocks held inside this block will be executed in a loop and that loop will never end until the stop sign is clicked. This block is mainly used to perform a task repeatedly. Stop button is in red color and is used to stop the project anytime. Stop button is located on the top right corner of the scratch stage. Forever if block. The forever if block is a control block that will always check the condition. If the condition is true, the blocks held inside this block will run and then the script continues. But if the condition is false, nothing will happen until it becomes true again. Project Make a person walk in the desert. Start. In this project, you will see a person is walking in a desert. When you start scratch, you will see a cat as a sprite and a white background. 
Change the white background to desert background. Remove the cat sprite by right clicking on it and select delete from the menu that appears. Cat will be removed. Add new sprite. Resize the sprite by clicking on shrink tool in the toolbar and then click on the sprite. The size of the sprite will decrease. After resizing, drag the sprite to the left of the stage. Note, you have already learned about changing backdrop, adding and deleting sprite, and changing the costume of sprite. Click the scripts tab, click the events button, select when flag clicked block and drag it into the scripts area. Click on control button, select forever block, drag it into the scripts area and place it underneath the when flag clicked block. Click the motion button, click the move 10 steps block, drag it into the scripts area and place it inside the forever block. Click the looks button, select next costume block, drag it into the scripts area and place it inside the forever block and underneath the move 10 steps block. In this example, we have changed the costume that shows its legs in different positions. It will make the sprite's legs move, which will appear like it is walking. Click the control button. Select wait one seconds block, drag it into the scripts area and place it inside the forever block and underneath the next costume block. Click on green flag to start the script. The sprite starts walking in the desert. You have used forever block, which is used for continuous loop. So, the sprite will keep walking until you press the stop button. Click on red stop button to start the script. The sprite will stop walking. Finish. Saving a project. A project includes all the sprites, scripts and backgrounds that are used in it. It's a good idea to save your projects so you can reuse or modify them in future. The file extension of Scratch is .sb2. Click on File menu. Click on Save. Save Project dialog box appears. Navigate the location where you want to save the project. Type the name of your project in the new file name text box. Click on OK to save your project.